Alex with windowcleaner.com. I wanna show you the ins and outs of the Zero Screen Cleaner, how easy it is to assemble, where you connect, and just some of the simple features of this amazing screen cleaning tool. So, we pulled it out of the box. I'll show you how to set it up first. Best thing to do, flip it over. It's really important to know which way you set up the legs in the screen washer. You can have a wobbly disaster of a poor time, or it can be nice and solid. It all depends on if you set the legs up properly. So what I recommend, the least confusing thing to do, is just sit all four of the legs upright. If you look, there are these little triangles welded onto every single side of the screen washer. These legs need to rest on those triangles to give you the best support. Fold down right on the triangle. Work your way around, and just like that, you've set up a nice secure base. So now it will sit. You will certainly have a little bit of wobble in here, but nothing like if you put the legs up the other way. It would almost just fall over. So tips for while you're washing, put a foot on it. Is your foot gonna get wet? Yeah, maybe a little bit. And you put your foot on one of the back legs here. When you put your screen in, what you're gonna do is work in a circular motion. Make sure you get all the edges and not just the center of the screen. There are four brushes on the screen cleaner, okay? You have two towards the center and two on the outside. These brushes are removable. You can replace the brushes if need be. That being said, they very, very, very rarely ever have to be replaced, but they will pull out and you can replace them. So removing the brushes lets us take a look at the tube that feeds the water into the screen cleaner. Now, when this comes standard, you will see, maybe you'll see, there's just a thin tube in here with a cap on top. There are only two holes that perforate this tube. That's done intentionally. One, it's gonna give you a good amount of pressure coming out of the tube, hitting the screen, hitting the brushes. But it lets you customize it. If you wanna add more holes in the tube, go for it. You can pull the tube out, you can drill a few holes into it, or just poke holes in it, give you a little bit more water, you'll have a little bit less pressure, but there's still tremendous flow that's gonna come through here and really soak that screen. Also, with the bristles removed, you can see there is an on off valve. Going straight up, it's currently in the on position. Now it's in the off position, easy enough. It's also just standard garden hose threading. Any garden hose will hook right up to here and supply water to your screen washer. If you've been thinking about adding a screen washer to your business, you're just on the fence about it, not sure if it's worth the investment, check out some of the reviews at windowcleaner.com on this zero screen cleaner. It's an attention getter, you can put custom logos on here that are just for your company, your phone number. It can just say, we clean screens. It's gonna catch some attention. It's gonna look really professional. And more importantly, it's gonna really clean the screens as best as they possibly can be. Give your company a professional look and give your customers a professional clean with the Zero Screen Cleaner. It's available at windowcleaner.com.